Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with walkerfitmuscle.com. Okay, are you tired of working out hard, eating right, doing all the things you are supposed to be doing, yet you're not seeing results? You're not building the muscle you're trying to build. If that sounds like you, then make sure you watch this video because I'm gonna give you three of my best tips to help you build muscle fast. Here's the thing, these, th these three tips are actually fairly simple. They're overlooked tips, all right? That being said, let's get started with tip number one. The first tip, have a plan. Sounds simple, right? Yet so many people don't have a plan. They go to the gym, they work out at home, doing random workouts or just trying this, trying that, Googling different workouts and nothing seems to work, all right? The most important thing you need to do is have a plan. And here's the key, when you pick a plan, choose a plan that's going to get you towards your goals. Because at the end of the day, if your plan is to build muscle, your plan is to build mass, your plan is to lose fat, then not all plans work for each of those goals, all right? So identify your goal and then find a plan designed to help you reach that goal. That's extremely important because at the end of the day, like I said, if you're trying to lose 20 pounds of fat, you don't need to be doing a plan designed to help you build muscle and vice versa. If you're trying to build mass, you're trying to get thick, muscular, a thick muscular body, an aesthetic looking body, you don't need to do a weight loss plan, all right? So find a plan that is gonna help you get to where you wanna go, all right? That's the very first tip. Second tip, very overlooked, something a lot of old school bodybuilders used to do, something I used to do back in the day, and I actually still do it, but a lot of people don't necessarily do it anymore. And here's the thing, it's actually a lot more convenient for you guys. Let's keep a notebook, keep a journal. Here's the thing, now you have technology, you have a phone, man. You can jot down everything you're doing in your phone to keep up with it, because here's what I want you to put in that notebook or that journal, whatever you wanna call it. You basically wanna put your starting pictures. So this is gonna be something that you're gonna refer back to constantly, okay? So take pictures of the front, take pictures of your side, pictures of your back, relax pictures, flex pictures, all of these pictures that you can refer back to to make sure you're making progress, all right? Once you've gotten your pictures in there, jot down your measurements, tons of measurements, bicep measurements, forearm measurements, chest, two different spots on your abs. Get those upper abs measured and the lower waist measured, okay? Because some people lose weight in different places. And thighs, same thing, upper thighs, mid thighs, lower thighs, calves, take a lot of measurements. That way you know you're making progress. Here's the other thing, now that you have your plan, you have your notebook. Write that workout from your plan into the notebook. Because here's what you wanna do. You wanna spend the first week of your workout jotting down all your starting weights. Bench press, all right, it called for eight to 10 reps. How much weight did I use for the eight to 10 reps? Write it down. Rest periods. I'm resting 90 seconds between sets. Write that down. Write down all that pertinent information, your reps that you're doing, your weight that you're doing, and the rest periods that you're doing because that is gonna be crucial to your success because at the end of the day, to gain muscle, to build muscle, to lose fat, to make any kind of gains, all right, you've gotta make sure you're focused on progress. If you're doing the same thing day in, day out, you're not progressing, then you're not gonna get the results you're looking for. So you wanna make sure you have it all written down. Say four weeks down the road, you're feeling sluggish, you're not feeling good, you're losing motivation. You're like, man, you're looking in the mirror and nothing seems to be changing. And at that point, a lot of people give up. However, what I want you to do if you feel like that, go back and remeasure. Go back and take more pictures. Then compare those. Because a lot of times, you're gonna be able to see differences that you don't necessarily see with your naked eye. You see yourself every day. The differences are so gradual. When you're looking at yourself in the mirror, you're not seeing the differences. All right, but if you wait every four to six weeks, then compare photos, compare measurements, compare strength. All right, realize, man, I started out benching 100 pounds, now I'm benching 115, four weeks into it. That's great, you're making progress. Guess what? If you made strength gains like that, more than likely you built some muscle. So that's the other thing to focus on. That notebook, that journal is gonna be crucial to your success 
and crucial to your motivation and encouragement. It keeps you encouraged when you see that you're making progress. Because at the end of the day, you wanna make sure two weeks, three weeks, four weeks down the road, you're not doing the same thing that you were doing the first week. That leads me to the third tip. Third tip is intensity, man. You gotta train with intensity. A lot of people go to the gym and they've got a program, they're following their plan, yet they're just going through the motions, all right? They're there, they're just trying to hurry up and get it over with. Eight to 10 reps, I'm gonna put this weight on the bar and I'm just gonna do it and move on to the next exercise. You wanna challenge yourself. You wanna make sure you are working with intensity. So don't get too comfortable. That's what happens. A lot of times, week one, week two, week three, you're motivated, you're excited, and you're pushing yourself, you're challenging yourself, but you tend to get too comfortable. You get lax, all right, and you take it easy. You stop working out so hard. You start cutting back, resting a little bit longer than you should be resting. That's why another thing I want you to focus on, the rest periods. That should be something that you're progressing on as well because that's one of those places that Week one, you're resting 90 seconds between sets. Week two, 90 seconds between sets. Week three, 90 seconds between sets. If you're not improving reps, you're not improving weight, then cut down on the rest. That's gonna help you with, con that's gonna help you with your conditioning, especially for you guys that have the goal of losing weight. Because when your goal is to lose fat, one thing you do wanna focus on, not only building more muscle, you still wanna build muscle even if your goal is fat loss, okay? Keep that in mind. But one of the progressions I really like to focus on is rest periods, because as you cut into the rest periods, you're adding intensity, you're increasing intensity, you're working harder. Whereas if you're doing three sets, four sets of eight to 10 reps, and you have the same rest period for four weeks, you're not really gonna progress, all right? But try cutting into, instead of 90 seconds, do 75 seconds, a minute, 15 seconds. After every single set, you're gonna notice something it's more challenging, it's tougher, you're increasing the intensity. So just by adding that intensity, you are going to be progressing towards growth or fat loss, whichever your goal is. So that is key to your success. So there you go, three big tips. There's a lot of tips I could give you. And you know what, let me give you a couple little things that you really need to focus on. Those are the three tips I wanna share with you, but at the end of the day, I want you to realize something, be patient. Wherever your starting point is today, you didn't get there overnight. It took you time to gain that fat. It took you time to lose muscle. It took you time to get weak. So don't go into this thinking you're gonna make drastic changes overnight. That's the first thing. It's gonna start with your mindset. Know that going in and that's gonna help you with this, okay? Because you have to be patient. Second thing you have to be is consistent, okay? so. Take it day by day, week by week. Have a good workout today. Have a good workout tomorrow. Have another good workout the next day. And then at the end of the week, you've had a great week. But guess what? At the end of week one, start all over again. Day one for week two, day two for week two. Take it day by day, week by week. That's how you wanna approach this. Don't look at the long term, okay? You wanna look short term and focus on those short term goals. All right, and then also, now that you're being consistent, you wanna stay positive, all right? Be positive, it's gonna be so easy to get frustrated, get negative thoughts, thinking, you know what, I'm not progressing fast enough, I'm not seeing the changes the way I thought I would, so that leads to temptation. It's like, okay, well you're doing perfect, but you're not feeling so good, so guess what, you're gonna start slacking off, you're gonna start eating crap, eating processed foods, doing all of these things that's gonna set you back and derail you. So you gotta have a positive mindset. Even if you have to go back to that notebook, go back, make sure you're making progress and get re-motivated, get that encouragement back, all right? And also, if you're following a plan, which you should be, because like I said, that was the very first tip. You've got your plan, then trust the process. It is a process, it's gonna be a journey. Like I said, it's not gonna happen overnight, but just realize that this plan is a blueprint to your success. It's written to help you get to your goals. So at the end of the day, if you're following it, you're gonna be better tomorrow than you were today. Next week, you're gonna be better than you were this week. So that's how these are designed. That's how these are set up. Just trust that process, all right? Trust the process, get to it, and you're going to get to where you wanna be. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. Also, one last thing, positive affirmations. Make sure you're speaking positive affirmations from the minute you wake up every day. 
Regardless of how you go to bed, if you go to bed frustrated, realize you're gonna wake up, it's a fresh day, you get to start all over again, you get to improve from yesterday. All right, so positive affirmations. It's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna kill this workout. Everything's gonna be awesome today. I'm gonna eat my food the way I'm supposed to eat it. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Everything positive, speak positive, nothing negative. Eliminate all the negative crap from here, all right? That being said, if you need help, if you need help with the plan, then I'm gonna put a link in the description to my personal training, all right? It's online training. I've also got an app that comes along with it that gives you every single exercise description. And it's one of those things that I like to personalize things for everybody because I want you to be successful. And at the end of the day, guess what? Seven billion people in the world, you really think one workout is gonna work for everybody? No, it doesn't. We're all different, we're all unique. We all need specific things designed for our specific needs, our uniqueness. So that's what I like about my online training. I do that for you. I, okay, I create something specific for you as far as your nutrition plan, your resistance training plan, everything designed to help you get your results optimally and rapidly. So if you are interested in that, like I said, there's a link in the description box. Make sure you read that, check it out. If you're not, just please keep following my videos, man, all right? I'm gonna give you workouts, I'm gonna give you nutrition tips, motivational tips. Just keep doing some of these things that I'm suggesting and you're going to experience a, an amazing transformation. Like I said, whether that be fat loss or muscle gain, you're gonna get either one. Just follow the videos, I got videos for both. That being said, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also please comment, comment below and let me know. I'm trying to increase my comments, that way I know people are actually watching my videos. People actually like my videos, okay? If you have questions about anything, then ask in the comment section. Also, if you need guidance, you need help, you need, you've got a suggestion for a video you want me to film, then put it in the comment section. I will get to your comments, I promise you that. So, but at the end of the day, I don't really know what you're thinking unless you're telling me. So, comment, let me know. Also, share this video with your family, your friends, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. That being said, that's all I got, man. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.